In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use text mining for search engine optimization. For example, if we have a term, text mining, we will see a list of Google search results. So what we can do is the first step is to visualize the search results as a graph. We will use Infranodos tool for this. We go to Apps and then uh, click on Google and choose the term that you would like to visualize as a graph. Text mining is going to be saved into this graph. What happens now is that uh, Infranodos takes out all the Google search results and analyzes them, finding the most prominent terms and how they're connected, showing us the main topics that relate to this search query. So here it is. We have text mining data and so on. If we click on these terms, we will also remove them from the graph to see what else is important. Maybe in analytics it's quite expectable. We have uh, here a list of the main topics detected. So we see that when, pe when people search for text mining, they find something about meaningful insights, analyzing unstructured content, software and concept, and document collection analysis. So this is the kind of search results that they get. The next step is to see what they actually search for when they search for text mining. We can use Google Keyword Planner tool for that. Click Find Keywords and type in Text Mining. There we go. We see a list of all the main search terms that are related to text mining. There is uh, quite a few of them here. What we can do is to download them as a list and then open this file in a Google Sheet. Here we go, we open this file. Use tab as a separator type. Import all the data. And what we have here is the list of keywords that people use when they search for text mining or any related search. We will copy them all and make a new graph and simply copy and paste this list into here. Click Save. Here it is visualized as a graph. Obviously we can remove some of the most prominent terms. We do this by clicking on the word and then adding it into the stop words list. And finally text as well. And what we see here is a very interesting graph. It shows us that when people search for text mining they also search for online software tools. Here we can see this part of the graph here. And also we can see here that it's quite a prominent subject in these search queries. The next interesting step to do is to compare what people actually get when they search for something and what they look for when they perform this search. So we will compare this graph of what people look for to the graph of the Google search results for this query. In order to do it, we have to click on this button here and then go to the original list and simply click on this graph. What we have uh, is a visualization of both graphs and the nodes that are in black are the ones that exist in the search queries that people do but that don't appear on Google search results page. So we will remove now the most prominent ones which are not so important for this. And we can already see appearing here a list of the words that exist in the keywords list. So what people search for but not in the Google search results. And here it's web, word, approach, warehouse, so let's see further how we can fine-tune these results. Now it's web retrieval source approach. So we can see that when people search for text mining, they're interested to see 
something about web-based open source retrieval tools and different approaches that they can use but they don't find it in Google search results. So this indicates an interesting opportunity for us to write content and maybe even to create web uh, software applications that could perform text mining because as we can see, people search for it, but they don't really find anything related to that.